welcome back to my channel what I have for you today you know I'm obsessed with those IOD molds and everything they have and so I thought one of you had suggested that I do chargers from the Dollar Tree and then one of you said that you had done chargers from the Dollar Tree and put them in your hutch and I bet they're gorgeous so I had to jump on the bandwagon <laughs> So we're going to be doing a Dollar Tree DIY with IOD molds, okay? So let me show you what you're going to need if you want to make this project. You're going to need some chargers from the Dollar Tree. Now you can get any color you want. You could paint your chargers if you want, but I really like this gold. I thought it would be really cute. So I picked up four of these chargers from the Dollar Tree, okay? Then you're going to need some of the IOD molds or any molds that you have. A lot of you have said you've gone to Hobby Lobby and picked up molds. You definitely can do that. So I'm going to be using the Classic Elements mold from IOD. I love these. And then you're going to need some cornstarch for your molds. I would highly suggest using the cornstarch. If not, it is harder to get the clay out of the molds, okay? And I have my IOD air dry clay. And then I'm going to be using this. I have, I've had this for a long time and I've used it for a long time. But this Folk Art Metallic Pure Gold. I think this is the exact color of those chargers, okay? And then I'm going to be adding some metallic chocolate brown. And then I think I'm going to be using this um, matte wax patina green so we'll give that a try and i get this from uh the painted heirloom.com where i get all my other iod supplies this is not iod uh, this is finnabar okay and i'm going to be using some wet wipes and i love the tight bond glue to apply this with now i will tell you that if you're applying it to wood i found that i think it's the um thick it's the tight bond that has the blue label i think it's thick something it works better for wood okay so let me get everything flipped down and we go and we will get started with these adorable chargers from the dollar tree and we're going to totally upscale it and make these chargers very pretty okay what i'm going to do is use these classic element molds like i said and I'm going to be using this one right here. I think it is so elegant and very high-end looking. You could use any of these and they would be beautiful. I'm going to take my cornstarch and this brush. And I'm only going to show me doing one of these. And then I'll be back after I get them all made. Because I have videos on my channel showing how to do that. Okay? So you just sort of put it in here like you're flouring a cake pan and then you bump it out. You want to keep your air dry clay in a container that um, is sealed nicely or it will dry out. Okay, And just get it, rub it in your hands. You could even do this scroll, that would be pretty too. Who knows what I might do. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to make it into like a log. And just squeeze it down in here. You can take a putty knife, um, credit card, anything that you wanted if you wanted to do it that way and get the smooth out the mold, but you definitely want it smooth. I just use my thumb because I love this micro rim and I think it really does help. And then you just let gravity pull it out. Okay. 
I love these molds. Look how pretty. You can paint, you can let them dry and put them on, or you can paint them wet. I always just paint them okay, wet. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of my tight bond glue out. You can use a craft stick to apply it. You can use your fingers, whatever you want to use. Just make sure you get it all the way to the ends. Then Press it down around the edges gently without um, distorting your image. I'm going to clean up right around there that glue. Make sure it has good contact. This is what we're getting so okay, far. Now I'm going to take my pure gold put out a little bit because I'm only gonna I want to see how this turns out and see if I need to revamp because I'm going to be doing much more to this oh I think this is going to be a wonderful match for these chargers I'll show you in a minute and like I said you could let them dry or you can paint them while they're wet, which is what I always do. But you don't have to. You can definitely let these dry. But if you get impatient like me and you wanted to see how well this would match, it's matching nicely, okay? And I'm going to get it, um, more of the gold on here. So I'll be back after I do the others because we are not through embellishing this by any stretch of the imagination. I really want to give this a very high-end look. Okay, here they are so far. I love how these are turning out. I think they're very pretty. I did this one and I did this one like that. And then I ran out of clay almost, so I switched thinking I could save clay, but I should have known these are thicker, so they actually, I think, use... Anyway, I ran out of clay. <laughs> so you have two options here, okay? So I was only able to do three chargers. So now what I want to do is take this metallic chocolate brown from Folk Art. I've used this so much and um it's optional you know what color you want to do yours to get this brush and i'm just going to get it on there and then i'm just going to start just kind of swirling it on this in a circular pattern kind of messy And then I'll come in here to the center and do the same thing. Try not to let, leave any real heavy places if you can avoid that. And I definitely could have done this before I um, added my molds but this was kind of a work in progress <laughs> so but this this is what we're getting so far I hope it's picking up exactly how it looks it's really pretty uh, if you would see this on front gate or any of those expensive places that you can get chargers, you would pay dear for it. 
So I'm going to do the same thing for the next one. Even sponge it on there if you wanted to. Okay, and we're just going to go around. You could give these any color that you wanted for your summer decor. I just thought that this was really pretty. And then if I wanted to use it later, I wouldn't be stuck with summer. But it kind of just gives these gold chargers an aged look. And I was looking online at different places and this color just kept coming through like that that was basically the color almost that everybody was going for and I loved it. Okay, let me do this one. And we're not through yet. Okay, now we're going to come around here. Hit these bigger ones. This is so customizable, you could give any look that you wanted. I've made fall chargers in the past and Christmas chargers, but I'm definitely going to be doing that this year <laughs> because I love this stuff. And using these Dollar Tree chargers, you don't have much money in it at all. You can put as much of this um, chocolate brown on as you want. You don't want it too messy looking. Some of them that I looked at though were very messy and get around that edge really good. I think I have more on that one and I think I like it. So let's come back to this one. Okay, and here is this one. I just love them. Come around those edges and just let all that work that Dollar Tree did work for you. <laughs> These just look so old. If you're having a wedding, you could do your own chargers and you would not have much in them at all. Okay, and then here is this one. Now what I want to do, I'm going to get some of this, a little sea sponge. You're really supposed to use your fingers when you use this or a wax brush. Um, I still haven't gotten around to get the wax brush, but I don't really want to put it on my fingers. So I'm going to see just what putting it on this will do. And I'm liking that. I hope it's coming out. It doesn't take much of this, but it definitely gives you that patina look. And I'm not putting it on my fingers. You could not even put the patina on if you don't want to, but I, I, you know me, if you've been with me a while, I like things to look old.
And this definitely is giving it a very old, old look. Okay, that's what we're getting. I can't tell because this light is so bright. I think I'm going to just try dabbing it on this charger itself in places because you want to have that same look. You don't want it to look all perfect. Okay, and this is what we're getting so far. I hope you can see. And you can put as much or as little on as you want. Okay, here is this one. I just think it's really, really pretty, okay? So we'll do this one. Well, here they are. I really do love them. You would never know that these are Dollar Tree chargers. I think they're so pretty. You can, like I said, you can put them any color you want. And if you don't want to put the patina, you definitely don't have to. But like I said, I was looking uh, on different places like Front Gate, um, just different places. I can't remember all of them. And they all had this really kind of old messy kind of like look so I thought hmm, I'll try to recreate that <laughs> and if I can find a picture I'll throw that in but I think this is lovely and then here is this one it has more of the patina on it if you didn't know you would think this was brass and then here is this one right here okay they are so adorable. I just love it. It's so easy to take Dollar Tree items to decorate your home with. These will be beautiful anytime I want to use them. Um, I may do another set. I don't know. I'm still debating um, that really screams summer, like an ocean theme for outside. But I will probably just use these outside on my deck as well because, hey, go big or go home enjoy your life <laughs> so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up it really helps me out on youtube and if you're not already subscribed to my channel i would love it if you would subscribe and become a member of our family and if you subscribe hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload so i will see you tomorrow wednesday for a wonderful amazon haul slash um, Kirkland's Hall. I'm going to take you into my bedroom and let you see some of it. 
um, from uh, Kirkland's and Amazon, but then some will be in here in the kitchen. But I want to give you another look up close at this. I just really do love these. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here is the baby. She was on the floor this time on that um, house coat that I gave her and she has taken over. Uh, she loves to just lay on it. It's real plush and say, I love it. Yes, I do. Say, oh, when I went out to potty this morning, there was so much action in the neighborhood, wasn't there, baby? Say, hi. Say, I love you. <laughs> yeah, we had um, the trash truck came by, which she hates. And then we had neighbors out walking and she was just, she was having a wonderful time. <laughs> so until next time, bye guys.